going to college for a year and then coming to KWI and working for a year and a half and then going back. And like, how is being a welder through the Kentucky Welding Institute mm -hmm. helping out financially with yeah. the college? Because college is using, isn't expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, so absolutely. share yeah. with us that yeah. whole endeavor. Yeah, I was pretty fortunate actually um, whenever I graduated high school. Um, I was selected for an interview for the uh, Otis A. Singletary Scholarship mm -hmm. at the University of Kentucky. Okay. It's their, their largest financial, academic financial scholarship. So mm -hmm. it's, it basically covers uh, two years of housing and then all four years of tuition. So I was you know, pretty much pretty well off to begin with, um, right. but I still had those two years of housing to pay. And then if I was to do a master's, um, which I plan to do a master's in okay. civil engineering afterwards, uh, that would have been all out of pocket. You know, and and so, so really, Besides just my passion for welding and wanting to learn more about it and wanting to maybe further my engineering career by mm -hmm. picking up that skill, um, there was also that financial aspect and, and, and making the 100K and, and making that money welding right. has really helped me out. So, so basically, with that, I've, I've pretty much paid for, for my entire education. Right. And, and uh, you know, I'm not sure if it'll cover the whole master's program, but I know it's covered what it costs for me to go to KWI and what it costs for me to, you know, house for two years at, at, at right UK. and um, and let's say you need more money mm -hmm. you can just go back and get right. on another job yep right yep. you can so. always go back to it